guess what? Sharpie has officially made portrait color markers. I'm so excited. I saw these in, I think it was April, and I really wanted to tell you guys about it, but uh, a lot of companies, when you see some of their new products, you can't talk about them right away, but it finally is time to talk about them. Today, we are gonna swatch these. There are 11 new colors. One of them is a classic brown, so it has been around in other packaging, but they have 11 new colors. And then we're also going to color a mac manga page so that way we can really see these colors in action and we're going to use some of the new brush tip markers that they have that have dual ends and i'm super excited for these i hope sharpie continues to do brush markers and more with portrait markers it would be cool if they were combined you can find these on amazon right now they might be available at walmart and blick later you can look I will add the links as I see them up here on websites, but if you can't get them right away, they are coming out, so give it some time. They might be popular, who knows, they might sell out fast, they might not, so pick them up when you see them available, and you will be so happy, because I was so happy, and I'm gonna show you how to label these. They do have names, and you have to label them before they come out of the package, so if anything, make sure you, you label them first. All right, let's get started on these new Sharpies. I'm so excited. Here is the Sharpie portrait. It comes in 12 colors, and this is what the back looks like. There are no color names on there, but guess what? You are in luck today because I have the color names, and I'll show you a special way to get the color names because it, if you take them out of the packaging, it might be a little confusing, so you'll want to follow this video and name them accordingly. It'll be super easy. I'll show you how to do it. What are you guys most excited about with these? I, I'm just so excited. There are so many colors that you can combine them to make other colors. I do hope that they expand the range of all the Sharpies. I want these in brush also, <laughs> but bakers can't be choosers. I'm so excited for these. This is going to make the line. Okay. I don't know the exact number. It's going to go up to like 90 plus colors for Sharpie, which when you think about it is a ton of colors because you can get so many broad ranges when you start to get more colors and you can do so many more fun things because markers are a little bit more limited than colored pencils. You can combine them, but it's a little bit harder. So if you're like me and you didn't lay, <laughs> label these coming out of the package, because what I'm gonna show you is the names coming out of the package. So you have to set them up like they are in the package. That'll be the easiest way to match them. I promise it'll be a lot harder if not. So you won't see me label these because I actually messed up, but I have put the names on the markers. So I will sh tell you the markers and then you can put the names on as you're going along, if you're following along. Okay, so this one's called Americano. I just realized I had done one of them wrong, so I had to restart my video. And these markers will dry lighter than what you see. The next one is called Mars Pan. The next one is Classic Brown. I'm showing you the marker too, so you, if you did mess them up, you can try to find them. But my recommendation before you even open this is to put them in order or have them in order because they are in order on the packaging this list is. So it'll be super easy for you to label. Okay. And then we've got our salted caramel here. And I'll show you that. This is the lid for that. And this one is dark chocolate.
and we have cinnamon latte. Then we have creme brulee. Keep forgetting to show the marker cap and I know you guys request that, so. Okay. Our next one is a toasted ginger. And you'll notice that some of these are very similar. They're just slightly off because makeup and skin tones either have like a brown, a, a red or pink, I'll say pink or yellow undertone. So you can see Creme Brulee has more of a yellow undertone and the Mars Pan has more of like a pink one. And you'll see that too with some of the colors, like this one's a little redder, this one's darker, this one's definitely redder, this one's more yellow. So it just depends on the marker which represents a lot of different skin tones which is really neat this one is peanut brittle and then this one was the one i had confused this one is black forest and I'll show you, the caps look super similar to the dark chocolate. This one is just slightly lighter. I did not even know, this is like a French word. Sounds delicious if it's some kind of dessert. And then we have Dulce de Leche, which is a dessert I know about. It's like a milky caramel. Dulce. If I can even write, right? <laughs> These are all our colors. Let me just put them up here. They're like opposite of what they would be. So <laughs> this is this one. I would arrange them in a different order, but I did it like this because I wanted you guys to be able to label them. So now you can, you have all of these different colors. There's so much fun that we can do with the skin tone. So now our next project is, I have this book. I'm gonna try to show it to you, let's see. It's called Mango, Manga Glow in the Dark Coloring. I got this from Walmart. And what I like to do is I like to print out pages from some of the coloring books. And I printed this out on like shiny paper because it's the best for coloring like the paper i do i have any right here i don't know if i have any right here but there's some paper that's like better for colored pencils that has more teeth that these will bleed everywhere so you, this is the best kind of paper for for me for me for coloring with these things i am actually going to pull in some brush i have i will have a post on these soon too these are the brush markers from Sharpie. Let me show you real fast what those colors are. You can have like three different tips. You, you, this is downstroke, this is upstroke, and then this is the ultra fine tip. So it's really cool what you can do with these. You can add some detail with so many things. You can color so fast, but this video is not focusing on these ones. We'll put them in order anyway, because we want to make sure they look pretty off to the side, but we're going to use them to color. I'll probably have a separate video on these comparing these to uh the regular markers and we can like get their names because i don't have the names on them yet i just have a whole bunch of the markers but we are going to color this page right here and we're going to use a few different techniques i'm going to take out my paper over here so i can kind of see the colors and yeah we're just going to go for this i think i'm going to do like a salted caramel I could do like a Mars pan on her face and then like a salted caramel. Cause they're both within the same color family if you look at that. Like they both have like that red, like if creme brulee would go with like maybe peanut brittle a little bit or, or cinnamon latte. You can see how they're in the same, but peanut brittle, toasted ginger and dulce de leche, 
peanut brittle and maybe butterscotch. So you could really use these to do some, a lot of different items. So this is so cool. Look, have you been able to do this before with a coloring book? Coloring a manga page. This is like brand new. We don't get to do her eyes, which their eyes are so fun to do too. I am not the best in <laughs> Let's see. You just want to make sure your strokes are going the same way as the face. So sometimes you can outline it first like this so your your edges are a little cleaner. It's picking up some of the black ink, so maybe I will try to avoid the black ink. You can see that on her face right there. But this will, like I said, dry a little bit lighter and then we'll be able to come in and do some shadows with this one, which will be really neat. So I'm gonna color her mouth red. Actually, I'll keep these out so I remember the two that I'm using. Their mouths are always red, but look at it. This is the brush tip. Look at how much easier. So I would love it too if these were in a brush tip. <laughs> and her hair, her hair is, we can either do it yellow or we can do her hair like a brown. I think I'm gonna go yellow because this is manga. They can do whatever they want, right? So, and then I think, so this is a brush. We're gonna come in and just highlight her hair. You can kind of go in the direction of her hair. I did another manga to, to start this out with uh, to practice and I did that one with brown hair and I used some of the the markers over there for that that was kind of fun I love the brush tips for this All right, I'm gonna come in with my oh my gosh my I don't know how to get that to go away do the shadows on this side of her face today since we got that really bad thing going on right there. I don't know what that was. So you can do shadows two ways with these. You can either like go over it twice or you can use a different color, which I've seen done too. And then we're gonna bring our yellow do another layer of yellow on this side. You just have to imagine like where the sun is coming from and where your shadows are gonna be. So we'll get some more shadows in here. All right, so now we get to decide what, what color. And I really wanted to do her in like a pink. So here's where we could use like two colors. So we're gonna do pink on her these are super vibrant colors you don't need a lot of ink And what I can do is kind of come here on the side. So then what I'm gonna do with this is kind of blend it in. Do you see how that's blending in a little bit? So we're just adding some of those shadows. Then we're gonna come in 
And I would be more detail oriented on this part down here, but. Just kind of putting more of those shadows in. So definitely getting more of the shadows in. We might get even some more shadows like on this side of her face a little bit too. There we go. So we're just adding those shadows in to create that depth. I think I'm going to do her feet like her shoes in this color, like a brown. So now we can come back in here or we can bring in our dark chocolate. create those shadows on the edge of her shoes. And then bring in our Americano back. So we get that gradient going there. So you see how those are kind of, and then I see that we have missed her little feet in here. So we need to make sure we get all of her feet. <laughs> And then see how it dried? It was like so much darker. And then we can come in here and put a little bit more in here just so we can get those shadows in there. So we're really building those shadows and we might get a little bit more on this elbow up here. <clears throat> Her wrist goes in a little bit there. It's like I said, it's gonna dry lighter. She's got this really pretty green thing in her hair, I think. I'm gonna put it as green. So I'm immediately seeing that I'm like, ooh, I want to blend that in. So I'm gonna take the rest of it. <laughs> we'll put some green on the edges like that, but. So now we'll go in with the dark green. Just add some shadows where we can. Got her hand. Maybe a butterscotch going up. After using the brush, I'm like, oh, I want to go back to the brush. Now I really wish this was something, the white, because I see all this, but I'm just gonna leave it because I don't wanna mess it up. I feel like her hair was right here too. Oh, there we go. So I'm trying to get more depth with this, but it's just hard to get layers with this yellow. We've gotten some, you can see the difference up here. She has a backpack on, what color should we make her backpack? Oh, I don't wanna make it like a contrasting color. Maybe I'll just do like a brown satchel. So it's like, or cinnamon latte, yeah. So it's like neutral, it doesn't like stand out or anything. It's almost the same color as that, but oh well. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like her? Do you like the shading? I just feel like you can do a lot of really cool things because we have the portrait colors now so we can represent people, their colors, and we, with the brush, it was really easy to make, but with any Sharpie, you can do shading as you saw on like her feet and stuff like that just because they are alcohol markers and that you can layer them. What do you guys think? Do you guys love these colors? Uh, are you going to pick them up and use them? I definitely am super happy that I got have them and I can't wait. I know my kids are very excited to color with these and I feel like there's just such a wide range of possibilities that you can do with them now. Now that we have skin colors, we can do a lot. We can make, it's that much easier. We don't have to like create random things. I don't know how people were doing it before, but 
now we can use Sharpies to do our pages. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you like these. Check out my blog post too because I will put these up so you guys can see them and you can label your own. You can color with them. You can do whatever you want with them. Uh, the possibilities are endless. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.